So this is Flowell, and it's going to help you develop logical reasoning and problem solving talents, developing programming skills, and explore the world of automatic and autonomous systems. Flowell uses Mimics, which are on screen simulations for you to program with flowcharts. These are the Mimics. When Flowell opens up, you're able to choose a Mimic to program. We're going to start with the Zebra Crossing. Now, before we get going, we're just going to have a bit of a tour of Flowell itself. Across the top here, we've got our main toolbar. The first set of icons are our new, open, save, and print buttons. When we have flowchart symbols in the work area, we have cut, copy, paste, and delete buttons. And these two here are our undo and redo buttons. On the left hand side, we have our main flowchart symbols, which we'll talk about shortly. We've got a text symbol or a text tool, which allows us to put labels on our flowcharts. We have a select tool, which allows us to choose any of the objects that are on our workspace. We have a line tool, and this joins up our flowchart symbols. Over here, we have our mimic. Now when we hover the mouse over our Mimic, we see a Show button. Clicking Show well, shows us what items on the Mimic we can actually control. This space here is where we drag our symbols. This is the workspace. Down at the bottom, this is how we can play our flowchart. So we'll click to play the program. We'll just pop that on there. There we go. Cancel that. So we can play and then we can change the speed of our program. So if we need to analyze something that may be going wrong, we can slow it right down to see step by step where it might be going wrong. Over here, we have some zoom buttons and this allows us to zoom into our flowchart or zoom out to see more of it if it's a really big program. All right, I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to have a go at writing a program for the Zebra Crossing.